get started. So today I'm going to be talking about connection and kind of how having like good community around you helps you be a better leader and how that helps you kind of pour into people. And I'm going to be saying pour a lot and I just kind of want to like help you understand like what pouring into someone means or someone pouring into you means. So me and Dalton were brainstorming in the car and what we thought is not social media scrolling conversations. So kind of like what that means is like surface level conversation, like how's the weather, how's your day? Like that kind of doesn't really get you anywhere. It just kind of, it's just like surface level. You don't really like get anywhere with that, but like going deeper and like asking just how they're doing in life, like how their feelings are, like how them and Jesus are, how them and their friends are, like kind of like getting deeper into that. Um, pointing out strengths, so kind of, think about going to be talking about confidence, like building each other up, building confidence in each other, pointing out what strengths they have, like where you see them succeeding most, and, like where you see that they're growing most, or just like really just excelling in and just like pouring into that and like uplifting them, because that can help so much just pouring confidence into someone, supporting them, supporting them if they're struggling right now, supporting them if they're thriving right now, just being a support system holding them accountable or having accountability. So what that basically means is if like you mess up or you're wrong, having others speak truth into you without you getting upset or hurt about it, but seeing it more as a growing opportunity. And then also having to hold other people accountable. So if you see someone that's like your homie and they're like struggling a little bit, being able to go to them with love and just kind of holding them accountable and holding them to the standard. Um, that's basically it. So why is it so important to be pouring in to um, each other? So by pouring into each other, <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, by pouring into each other, you help each other grow, you help encourage them, you help, you help them have wisdom, have confidence, you encourage them to step into greater challenges like praying for people, speaking openly. And a good example of this is, so before our Wednesday meetings, so before youth, we have a little, like a leadership meeting. It's like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah. And one person usually like leads that. And I went to Levi and I was like, hey, like I have a little thing, but like I low-key like don't want to say it, but like, if you like give me five seconds, like I'll say it really fast, and then it's like we're done. Because I don't like talking in front of people. That's like not my thing. Like this, not my thing. <laughs> and a week later, Levi was like, "Hey, Kira, you're actually gonna lead the meeting now." Okay, be fine. <laughs> <laughs> like I think a week later, I had to lead it, and I had to step out of my comfort zone, and I had to grow in that area. And even just now, uh, they're like. We were talking about the order, and I was like, guys, let me go last. Like, I do not <laughs> want to go first. And just now, they told me I need to go first because I didn't want to do it the most. And so these people around me and this community around me, they help build me to be a better leader. And they're constantly pouring into me and pouring into my cup and filling me up to where I can be a better leader for other people because I'm being poured into you. Have you all seen, like, those little things at water parks where they get, like, filled up so much and then they just, like, mm -hmm. pour out? That's basically like what's happening and like the people around you, they're supposed to be pouring into you so you can pour into other people and this is your community and this is your family. And it is so important and it is so fruitful because iron sharpens iron, Proverbs 27. And it's just the community around you, just take advantage of that. Take advantage of the people that are sitting right next to you. Like those are your family. Those are the people that are gonna be helping you the most and help you be a better leader and help you grow. Yeah.